You've heard the old adage, everything that's old is new again. Well, it's true in most trends. I mean, can we talk about jumpsuits? But it's also true in the art form of burlesque. Burlesque is the art of the striptease, and um, it was big in Paris uh, back at the turn of the century, and it came over to America during vaudeville. So it would be a vaudeville act, and then a pretty girl showing an ankle or a wrist or a little piece of her neck, and that was to keep the male audience members interested. So nowadays, the art of burlesque has made a huge comeback, and many credit it to one lady, Dita Von Tees. She was working in bikini bars out in California and wanted to create a signature look. So she started wearing corsets and elbow length gloves and kind of the burlesque look and slowly but surely kind of started making a name for herself that way. So now that burlesque is back on the scene, what is at the heart of the art? It's about humor, it's about sexuality, it's about the tease. It's something different from the norm. So yes, guys could go to a strip club or you could go and see um, a big musical number, but it kind of has a little bit of both. It, it's something that you know you kind of shouldn't like too much. I'd say the misconceptions are that we're just strippers and really, like I said, it's about the art of the tease and it's about the way you're revealing and the way you're peeling off the clothes and the story you're telling while you're doing it. These characters come out and Yes, they're taking their clothes off and they're giving you a little bit of strip tease, but there's always something that you can enjoy beyond the strip tease. Um, what I've seen with male characters and female characters on stage is that they truly embody whatever's going on in the song. Whether it's a really sensual number or a comedy-filled number, they're going to make you in a, be entertained. In today's era where celebrities are having nude photos leaked online and naked reality shows are becoming mainstream, it would seem odd that an art that relies heavily on tease has resurged in popularity. I almost think we've saturated ourselves with something that's so overly bold that the appeal of the mystique, of the tease, of the the innocence of it is so refreshing and it does take people back and remind them that that's the true element of romance and sexiness and, and, and intrigue.